In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a simple plugin that I use on my course membership website that I can use to switch between users to troubleshoot any problems when someone contacts me for customer support. Not everybody has a need for this plugin, but if you are developing websites or you want a membership site or you have an active membership site and you have customer service that you have to take care of, this is a great plugin to know about and possibly use if you think you need it. If you have any questions for this tutorial, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. My name is Bjorn Alpass in WP Learning Lab, where we make videos about WordPress to help you get better at it so you can earn more for yourself, for your business, and for your clients. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we're getting started on this video right now. So the plugin we want to install is called User Switching. If we go to Plugins and then Add New, search for User Switching. The one that I use is this one right here. It has 100,000 plus active installs, 168 five-star reviews on average, and it's compatible with my current version of WordPress, which is awesome. Got the latest version running. And before you install any plugins on your live site, make sure you back up your site. If you don't know how to do that, there's a link in the description down below and the card up above to a backup video. You wanna make sure you back up your files in your database just in case something goes wrong. It's rare, but sometimes stuff goes wrong. You wanna make sure you're safe. So this plugin does something very, very simple. If we go to users and I have an active course membership site right here, and I just look for my own name, I've got a bunch of test users under my name, and we can switch to any user on our site with just one click. For example, this user right here has one course on it in total. And I'm currently logged in as the admin, which means I have access to all courses. And if, for, for example, if this person, this hypothetical test user, emailed me for customer support with this one course, maybe it doesn't work properly, maybe they can't find it, maybe whatever, who knows. I don't really know what's going on in their account until they log into their account. So I've got to look up their password, got to look up their email, it usually it's in a CRM somewhere, and I got to log in as them and see what's going on. And that takes a bunch of steps and a bunch of time. But now that I have the user switching plugin installed, all I have to do is click on switch to, I'm gonna command click to open that new tab. And that takes us right to here, which is the page that has this person's courses. And it's actually the page that they first get to when they log in, when they first log in. And so it has their course here, and they can see their course progress, and I can troubleshoot any problems that they may be having. Maybe this course isn't listed in their account and I gotta add it. Who knows, stuff happens. But either way, it's really hard to do that without switching to the user account. And the user accounts on my site that are not admin accounts do not have access to anything WP admin. For example, you can't head over to wp-admin and see any kind of account information because they're redirected out of it to this My Account page. So that means on my site, if a user logs in, they don't see this user switching option under the users list. They also would never see the users list. And even if they could log into the back end of the site and see some part of the dashboard, which default user roles can, unless you block them from it, they can't use the user switching. That's only available to admin users. And on every single page that you go to, once you switch users, if you're the admin, you have this switch back to whatever the admin user is that you are using. Click on that, you switch back to the admin user, and you can go back about your business as the admin. And this isn't relevant only to membership sites like this. If you're developing websites and you have various user levels on that site for whatever purpose, it makes it super easy to switch back and forth between users using a plugin like this. There's a couple out there that do this. This is the one that I use. I want to show you in this video. Check out the rest of them and see if you like any of them better. I've never had any problems with this one, and that's why I use it. And I know what you're thinking. That just takes logging in with a new password and email address, but it's kind of a pain. The user switching plugin just makes it so much faster and easier. It can save you a lot of time, especially if you're running a membership site, a course site, any kind of website that has users, we have to troubleshoot problems. That's what I use it for. It saves me a lot of time. If you think that this could help you, make sure you check it out. There's a link to this plugin in the description down below. That's how the user switching plugin works. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up is watching this video right up here, which shows you the top 10 mistakes that I see WordPress users making over and over and over again with their security. So check that out. And this video down here is all about WP Rocket and how it can help you speed up your site with just a few clicks. Until next time, my name is Bjorn Alpass in WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next video.